Hey, I hadn't made a video in a while and uh, been doing quite a bit of things, but i um, putting the cylinder head back on the Slant 6 today, and I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. So follow along. Maybe it'll be useful to you. So what I'm doing is I'm replacing the head bolts that I had been using with studs. And what you're looking at is uh, the ARP lubricant. So when I um, put all the studs into the cylinder head, I put just a little bit of anti-seize on the bottom and threaded them all in. Most of them went in hand, hand uh, tight. A couple of them had to use double nuts. But it's very important if you're using studs. Uh, ARP has this uh, fastener assembly lubricant that I bought from Summit yesterday. And uh, it's really good to um, tighten up your... Uh, Make sure that when you, your torque is applied evenly. But anyway, I called uh, ARP just a minute ago. And the, the washers that were in my set have like a countersink. And I wanted to know what way mine needed to be installed. On the other side is flat. He said this is if you have a head bolt. The bevel goes, or the countersunk there, goes to the head side of the bolt. But he said on studs it didn't matter. So if you're putting together head bolts and you have this washer that uh, countersink needs to go against the head of the bolt. And then that way if there's any stress risers underneath it or a step, it'll catch on that. But if it's head studs, it doesn't matter. So anyway, just a short video doing uh, st uh, studs on the Slant 6 engine. And I hope to have it back and running pretty soon. And I'll share another video then. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.